Hello my dear students welcome back to this mini hs school i believe you are all happy and safe at home once again welcome back to this english class so today we are going to deal with that and part a and d last class i said you that today's class is all about connecting word and for that please take your english students book please take your english students book and take page number 38 in it english students book page number 38 so here we did learn the language part they are naming words a section fill in the blanks using naming words and then we left usage of the connecting word and so we are going to see about that today so let's start you have learned that and can be used to join two words so we know that and is used to join two words why we saw that yes why ha and the day in grammar book right we saw that in two chapters and specifically we saw that in Ninth chapter, right? Do you remember that? In ninth chapter, naming words two, section two, right? Do you remember that? Yes, cup and saucer, cow and milk, pen and paper. Do you remember that? Ball and ball. So we saw that. There too, I explained about usage of that connecting word and. So today we are going to see that in sentence how to connect two sentences. So we saw that some words usually join together like cup and saucer, thunder and lightning. So these kind of words usually join together because of its combination, because of its connection. So now today we are going to see that in words as well as in sentence. Okay. Let's say, for example, here I have given like socks and shoes. We saw that, yes. Table and chair. So we know that. Uh, for example, if I ask a uh, socks and chair, is there any combination? No, but socks and shoes because we usually wear shoes along with wearing socks. So we know that socks and shoes, and then table and chair. obviously you have you have to keep something on table to write you have to be you have to be sitting sometimes right to be sitting on a chair and writing with the help of paper and pen on the table so chair and table this and paper and pen in the sense paper and pen or paper and pencil we used to write on paper with the help of pen or with the help of pencil yes i can now take next page page number 39 see there mm, let's read that the word and can be used to join two sentences so next is not only words this is used to join two sentences see the picture read the sentences below now we are going to try that okay so here two of the more there right two of the word there a boy and a girl what's common in them they are wearing a same kind of uniform right so they may be students so students so what the girl is saying i am pooja she is introducing herself she is introducing herself she is saying her name i am pooja and her likes like hobby kind of so i like to read next the boy he is saying that yes he is also introducing himself i am sam i like to read so you can see that the common things in both the sentences i am pooja i am sam so both sentences doesn't have any common they are saying their names that's only the common thing there but they have different names and they are from different genders but the next sentence i like to read he is also saying that i like to read so yes both of them has some kind of 
same hobby same taste so we are going to connect that see now if we write like this sam likes to read pooja likes to read that's the thing sam likes to read as well as pooja likes to read but with the help of and we can make the two sentences into one sentence how that's what here see sam and pooja like to read sam and pooja likes to read that's all so the simple thing have to mention the names there and after that the same sense goes by because they both have same likes so they are writing like sam and pooja likes to read that's all the next there is a pencil on the table there is an apple on the table see on the table what and all there pencil as well as apple as well as book let's take that to book a book so what and all on the table book pencil and apple so the common thing is that they are all on the table the common thing but the things are different even though they are all commonly on the table okay so how to write a pencil a book and an apple or on the table so why you are writing here a uh, uh, then an yes i said you on some other day what is it a uh, and an used to do mention singular mention numbers so a pencil so how many pencils are there on the table count them yes only one so we wrote there a pencil then how many apples are there on the table a apple no an apple why you are saying an apple because try to say apple starts with which letter a a comes under english vowels a comes under english vowels what are the vowels yes for vowels we have how many letters five letters what are they a e i o u so we have five letters here before the vowels or vowel letter or vowel sound letter we have to make sure we are mentioning there and not a but an clear so we are using an but then book how many books are there only one book what is spelling for book b o o k so b is a vowel is it no right yes b is not a vowel it's a consonant we no need to add and for that so we are adding a is right a pencil a book a pencil comma have to write like comma a book and an apple or on the table a pencil a book and an apple or on the table clear this is how we are using and now a single connecting word and combined all that words or else you have to write like there is a pencil on the table there is a book on the table there is an apple on the table but now in a sentence a pencil a book and an apple are on the table single sentence this is how connecting sentences by using connecting word and and is a connecting word and again and is a connecting word so shall we move to exercise part shall we see some exercises yes so there in page number 39 yes join these sentences using and and is a connecting word again and again i'm saying don't forget this and is a connecting word so first sentence it is cloudy it is cold so two sentences it is cloudy full stop next sentence it is cold so we are going to connecting both sentences using the connecting word 
and so let's see so what is common here it is cloudy it is cold so the different is cloudy and cold but it is it is the same words again so now let's try joining that it is cloudy yes our connecting word and cold so we got that in one sentence it is cloudy and cold we no need to repeat that it is it is again and again it is cloudy and that's very important and cold then full stop see we got that in one sentence second one aman can speak french aman can speak german aman can speak french aman can speak german so our friends and german speak french and speak german what that mean that means language yes so here what's common the both sentence or talking about the person named aman so now it's all about aman so this is a common thing what they are saying how many languages he knows how many languages he speaks so aman can speak french aman can speak german so the common words here are aman can speak so let's ignore that and make that in one sentence so here aman can speak french then our connecting word let's try that and german and german why they are using french in f capital letter and german a g capital letter is they are denoting a country's language a specific country's language a country a place country in the sense place a place must starts with capital letter so again is denoting a places language so capital letter so aman can speak french and german aman can speak french and german full stop okay clear then third one i like cricket i like tennis i like cricket i like tennis so they are talking about sport so then cricket tennis the common is about likes the same person it's talking about the same person i i in a sense myself right so this is this talking about the same person before that we saw in that example they are it's talking about two people yes sam and pooja but now it's all about one person and it's talking about two games it's all about one person and two games so make that what is common there i like so let's start with that i like cricket then our connecting word and a n d and tennis okay so i like cricket and tennis okay then full stop then fourth one we had masala dosa for lunch we had it for dinner two sentences this is some bit medium difficult one so yes we had masala dosa for lunch we had it for dinner so uh, let's expand that it we had it for dinner so it in the sense what it mentioning it's mentioning masala dosa so the sentence is actual sentence is like we had masala dosa for lunch we had masala dosa for dinner so it clear and in the same thing is continuing right we had masala dosa for lunch full stop we had masala dosa for dinner so let's make that in one sentence so let's start with this we had masala dosa yeah what's different here lunch as well as dinner so for lunch our connecting word and then the same sentence right so let's take pick 
dinner from there. Dinner. So we got the answer. We had masala dosa for lunch and dinner. Full stop. We had masala dosa for lunch and dinner. Full stop. So this is the answer. And fifth one. Jen ordered coffee. Sahiba ordered coffee. Jen ordered coffee. Sahiba ordered coffee. So again two sentences. This is like similar to Pooja and uh, Sam sentence. Is Sam likes to read? Pooja likes to read. Here Jen ordered coffee. Sahiba ordered coffee. So Jen and Sahiba are persons. That means names here. So the common thing is they both order the same thing. What is that? Coffee. Yes, they order the same beverage. What? Coffee. Yeah. So let's do like this. Let's start. Our starting must be different. Yeah, we did there, right? Sam and Pooja. So likewise, we can coin the names together first. So Jen. Our connecting word and then Sahiba. Then same ordered coffee. Jen and Sahiba ordered coffee. Jen and Sahiba ordered coffee. So we completed five sentences here. Let's see answer part. First one, it is cloudy, it is cold. Answer is it is cloudy and cold. Full stop. Second question. Aman can speak French. Aman can speak German. Answer is Aman can speak French and German. Full stop. Third question. I like cricket. I like tennis. So the answer is I like cricket and tennis. Fourth question. We had masala dosa for lunch. We had it for dinner. The expanded form is We had masala dosa for lunch. We had masala dosa for dinner. So the answer is we had masala dosa for lunch and dinner. Fifth question. Jen ordered coffee. Sahiba ordered coffee. So the answer is Jen and Sahiba ordered coffee. So I think I'm much cleared or doubt about the connecting word. And so, so we completed our portion today. So please write down that in your classwork and send that to me. This is your activity today. Please write down this section, the B section. Join these sentences using AND. This section in your classwork note. Don't write that in your book. Please write down the answers in your classwork note. And send that to me. This is your today's activity. So here we come to the end of the video. I believe you understood today's class. Okay, let's meet the next class students. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.